The Russian army has nearly destroyed the city of Vovchansk, located just five kilometers from the border with Russia. It has been almost leveled to the ground, according to the separate presidential brigade named after Hetman Bodan Kamelnitsky on Facebook. According to the military, the city is nearly completely destroyed, with streets burning from artillery and FPV drone strikes, and it is covered in smoke. There is a constant buzz of drones in the air, with dozens of quadcopters operating simultaneously. Above them are reconnaissance wings. Air superiority almost always translates to ground superiority, the military reports. According to RBC Ukraine, they note that recently there has been a large number of Russian reconnaissance drones over the city. Despite this, the Russian forces are also complaining about Ukrainian drones. According to the intercepted communications, they complain a lot about the number of our drones, reconnaissance and strike drones. The Russian troops are constantly under our surveillance. We detect them and inflict fire damage. This is, in principle, routine work, said the commander of the 2nd Mechanized Battalion of the separate Presidential Brigade, known by the call sign Samurai. He noted that currently the Vovchansk direction is defended by some of the most combat-ready units of the Ukrainian armed forces which have combat experience. Everyone understands that we cannot allow the enemy to advance further in the Kharkiv direction. No one wants to fight for Kharkiv again, as we did in 2022. Everyone understands that we must make every effort to prevent this, Samurai said. The military official explained that Vovchansk is turning into yet another infantry meat grinder for the Russian army and for Ukraine it is becoming a ghost city, reduced to rubble by the Russian troops and littered with their bodies. This once again proves that the enemy's goal is total destruction of everything in their path and capturing square kilometers at any cost. Recall in early May, the Russian army launched a renewed offensive in the northern Kharkiv region. The defense forces managed to halt the enemy's advance, but battles continue in the settlements of Lybok and Vovchansk. The military has already reported that Russia withdrew some of its troops from the Kharkiv region to the Kursk direction. However, the enemy maintains enough forces in the area to continue their assaults. Recently, the 3rd Assault Brigade conducted a counter-attack in the Kharkiv region. The fighters advanced by nearly two square kilometers. Germany will supply Ukraine with 12 additional PZH-2000 self-propelled guns and 77 Leopard 1A5 as part of its ongoing military support in response to Russian aggression. German Defense Minister Pistorius made the relevant announcement during a press conference, highlighting the importance of this new aid package in strengthening Ukraine's defense capabilities. Delivery of these Leopard tanks is part of a trilateral cooperation between Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands. The 77 Leopard 1A5 tanks, expected to be delivered in the coming months, will join those previously sent as part of the same cooperation. Minister Pistorius explained that the armored vehicles are part of a broader effort to strengthen Ukraine's maneuver and counteroffensive capabilities. Leopard, which is a German main battle tank, is widely used in Kiev's counteroffensive against Russia. It should be noted that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited Germany on an official trip in June where he discussed defense cooperation between the two countries. During the visit, Zelensky and his German counterpart, Frank Walter Steinmeier discussed the security situation in Ukraine and the current needs amid Russian attacks against the Ukrainian energy infrastructure and military operations along the front. Ukraine is believed to be using several leopards in its incursion into Kursk region that started in early August. Responding to reports about leopards' use in Russian territory, German Finance Minister Christian Lindner said earlier that Ukraine was defending itself against the aggressor and exercising its right to self-defense, and that weapons were transferred under the responsibility of Ukraine.